sweet ride. Made in the USA. Vagamond. Hey, you notice something different? I'm paddling on my knees. Not out of choice, but because my seat broke. Oh my god. And it's not easy to paddle like this. I mean, this is actually a style of paddling that does exist. But I can't imagine fishing like this or doing this long term. My center of gravity is out of whack. And the boat is kind of squirreling all over the place. But I gotta get back to the boat launch. Because is out of commission for now. Okay, see you on the other side. Here's an unboxing of my new seat. Just cost me $38. Comes with free bubble wrap. Looks pretty nice. You can smell the fresh wood. So I had to order this from a licensed Winona company because this seat is a specific size for a solo canoe. I have a circular saw which I'll, I'll use to cut off to size. I put the old one over the new one so I can mark off where I can do the cut lines. see where the bowing is happening now. In closer examination, it's happening underneath this mesh here. See? That's where it is. Have the proper equipment when you're cutting wood. I'm starting out with my knee pads. Now I look like I'm ready to flip a house. Just right now, the next step is to do the screws into each corner. Now I know where to drill. I just had to make two holes a little bigger using a wider drill bit. I think we're good. Yeah. I just have to tighten them. There it is, folks. Brand new, fixed. All is good. I know it's just a small component, but it's a very important component because you need the seat in a canoe to be stable so that you can go out on the water without any fear of falling into the water or into the boat, whatever. A bird fly off with a fish in its talons. That could have been my fish. Darn. A bird has to eat, doesn't it? It's nice to see. Nature in action. It's like snow, doesn't it? Merry Christmas, everybody. Now, if only I get a gift of a giant bass, that would be great, Santa. It's good, it's good. Oh, God. You see that? That is a largemouth. Please stay on. Oh, oh, <laughs> bandit! On oh, under the boat, under the boat. Please stay on. Uh, yes! Oh my God! Cast it and it bit it right on the fall. Barely hit the surface of the water and it womp. Thank you for coming out. Uh, yeah.
Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. 16 inches long. Oh. Isn't that sweet? Love you, love you, love you. When I caught that largemouth bass, I found it right at a point. I, fishing is awesome because it's like a puzzle. You try to find out where the bass might hang and where they are. Are points, drop-offs, uh, channels? Today, I, I found a point. The land is like this. It extends into the water like this. And those points are perfect areas where largemouth bass just kind of congregate. They like to find a place where they can ambush prey where they turn that point and then whomp it was perfect because as soon as I, I I cast it right up against the point and it hit the water it was like I didn't even have to retrieve the, the bass had the lure in its mouth already it's as if the bass looked up in the air and saw a fish flying from the sky oh. and then I just pulled Set the hook, catch and release, all is good. Thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe, please like if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time on my Outdoor and Nature channel. I think I got another bass. I think I got another bass. Yeah, it's shaking, shaking its head like awesomely. It's right behind there, it's right there. <laughs> oh God! Do I smell nice now? Bug spray. But it's made with aloe. <laughs>